I'd buy that for a dollar. dollar, 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 dollar. What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you for another Dollar Tree Theater. And what we're talking about is 2017's Demon Hole. Sam Hain and Demon Hole. Directed and written by Josh Crook. Starring Sam Hain as Moloch. Samantha Scafidi from Terrifier as Luce. Laura Barbia as Bethany. Summer Martin as Tiffany. And Steve Lipman as Gary, to name a few. A fracking crew drills on a sacred Native American land, unleashing an ancient demon. There are only two ways out of the woods. Succumb to the demon or die. <laughs> this is a... This is a okay DPQ and direction and quality than the other two bonus movies on this. It is a group of kids doing community service for different little minor crimes. They're on a bus and they get took to this forest to work for some wealthy guy clearing out a a drill area or a fracking area, whatever you want to call it. And the woods are inhabited by Moloch, a ancient demon that's hiding inside a hole in a cave, a.k.a. the Demon Hole. The demon is played by Sam Hain, and he looks like a mix between a white Darth Maul and the creatures from The Descent. And basically these kids are wandering around in the woods. They're supposed to clear a walking path or some shit. They've got rakes and shovels and stuff. And they stumble upon this little house in the woods. And turns out to be just a figment of their imagination. I guess it's not really supposed to be there. It's in their minds. And they're hanging out in there and they find a bag of weed and they're smoking it. And all of a sudden they each have powers because this demon is lurking around in the woods and supposedly gives them powers which is just a figment of their imagination as well um, one of them can read the other one's minds and one of them it's not quite a power but he's a nerd has glasses on and talks like a nerd and all of a sudden he's not a nerd it's basically the old uh, silly trick from movies like romantic comedies like I think it was called She's All That where they just take her hair out of a ponytail and take her glasses off all he does is take his glasses off and talk with a deeper voice and says I'm no longer a nerd and there's another character that uh, supposedly has invisibility to all the others he looks like you can see through him and he sees that but we don't really see that uh, they just kind of do a little effects of like a little bit of smoke over top of him where he's sitting. And um, yeah, they get into some shenanigans and eventually leave the house and are wandering around. And they stumble upon this train where a guy bursts out and chops one of their heads off and trying to kill the other ones just so the demon can't inhabit their body and find a way to escape the woods. And the rest of the movie is them trying to figure out how to defeat the demon. And the demon pops up here and there throughout the woods and in the cave and like I said he looks like a cross between a white Darth Maul and a uh, creature from the descent and this movie is low budget and kind of reminds me of Killjoy 2 which also isn't a great movie but it's watchable and this movie is watchable and better than the two bonus movies if you have this set if you picked it up at the tree I'd say check it out it's a decent movie and that is what I watched peace